If you're following me on Instagram, you may have seen where I shared sneak peeks of our updates that's going on in our master bedroom. We hired an electrician to install mini chandeliers over our bedside tables, and I got the idea off of how's it was going to be sconces or chandeliers. I chose chandeliers, and you will see why when I reveal the entire bedroom. We replaced the rickety ceiling fan that was old and creepy, and it definitely didn't go with the new chandeliers we added. As per the hubster, he said that the chandelier was really easy to install. The fan blades were built in, and the hardest part of all of this was just putting on the crystals, which was my job. The fan came with a remote control with three settings. You can also work the light that's extremely bright, which I already knew it would be, so I had the electrician install dimmers so we can control the light a little better. This fan set us back $250, and that's luxury meets approachable and affordable. My sweet friend Linda from LG Queen Home Decor has inspired me to create my very own artwork. She can make these in her sleep, you guys. Her creations are so beautiful. I will leave Linda's channel in my description box. If you love Glam Glam, you will love her channel. I made a trip to Michael's stores and they had an array of colorful decorative fillers. I love the sparkle that it has and they also had jumbo glitter at a very reasonable price. I grabbed a jar of the silver because I plan to mix the metals for interest. My supplies are decorative fillers and a soft blush and taupe, Mod Podge, inexpensive paint brushes and acrylic paint. Choose a color of your choice and you can get the canvas of any size of your choice from Michaels. I'm also going to go in with a soft blush color and I'm painting the canvas half the way. Make sure that you paint the edges, Linda recommended that, so you will have a finished edge. Now I'm going to go in with a little white to tone down the pink. I wanted a very subtle pink. I didn't want anything too bright. And that's the best thing about paint. If you mess up, you can paint it and start all over again. Next, I'm adding the filler onto the canvas. I have a few jars of the Mod Podge because this is a step that you really want to go in thick and heavy because the filler is quite chunky. So you will need enough of the Mod Podge to ensure that the filler sticks to the canvas. After layering the amount that I wanted, I added the glitter while the glue was still tacky and wet. There's no wrong or right way to do this. Now I'm going to paint the top half of the canvas with a soft champagne acrylic paint and I'm going to go in a little heavy and then I'll go back in with a little white just to soften up to my liking. Here's the finished results. It's such a lovely shimmer that's not overpowering. It's elegant and serene with the chandelier lighting bouncing off the decorative filler. I have a new obsession for creating my own wall art, you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think this is something that you can do? I'm 100% sure that you can. <laughs> Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Be My Guest with Denise so you don't miss out on any posts. And I want to thank you all for watching.